Pure is a solar powered generator with water purification capabilities built directly into the unit. The Max Pure can filter and purify polluted freshwater, brackish water, or seawater sources, creating potable water using only the energy from the sun, even when the sun goes down. There is also additional energy available thanks to the built in battery bank to power tools and a satellite communications module in addition to the water pumping and purification process. The system is self-contained, rugged, and is able to operate in harsh environments. The Mobile Max Pure is easy to use and can be operational in under 15 minutes upon arrival at site. We will walk you through each step in the setup in the, to the site by truck, boat, forklift, helicopter, or towed on a trailer. Worldwater does offer a 7,000 pound GVW trailer made specifically for the Mobile Max Pure's dimensions, placed on a hard level surface. Depending upon your site, you may choose to place the Mobile Max Pure directly on the ground, or a concrete pad, or use the trailer. Be sure to chalk the trailer wheels if you are using a trailer mount to prevent unexpected movement. In locations north of the equator, Face the unit so that the deployed array is facing south. For locations south of the equator, face the array to the north to get maximum sun exposure as a folded 7-foot cube. The first step in deploying the unit is to open the wings. The solar panels are mounted together in two panel sections, or wings. The front and back wings are the first to be opened. Grasp the bottom of the wing and lift while your partner swings out the locking arms. Be sure that the safety pins fit snugly into place on the underside of the wing on both the right and left sides. Move around to the other side of the unit and do the same thing to the other wing. Next, deploy the side panels. First, unfold the panels so that the three two-panel sections are showing on both sides of the unit. Using the power generated by the Mobile Max Pure, the hydraulics will lift the side panels to create a flat solar array. As a safety feature, the top button on the hydraulic switch must be depressed while pushing the up button on the side in order to lift the side wings. As two support arms. Swing the support arms out on the right and left sides and be sure that the locking pins are in place on the underside of the wing. Do this for both wings. Be sure that you do not walk underneath the wings until the support arms are locked into place. There are four areas to insert array locking pins. These locking pins are inserted to provide the array with additional stability in the case of high winds and to create one integrated flat unit of solar panels. Now that your panels have been lifted into a flat plane and all wings firmly secured using the swinging arms and locking pins, you are ready to tilt your array. The array tilts to 25 degrees. Once again, in locations north of the equator, face the array to the south. For locations south of the equator, face the array to the north to obtain maximum sun exposure. Hold the hydraulic switches until the array stops lifting. Next, lift the support braces into place and secure them with the locking pins. Is in place with the array tilted and secured, the Mobile Max Pure is able to generate electricity. To turn on the unit, first Turn on the main disconnect breakers at the base of the unit. Next, on the main control panel, turn on the charge controller and inverter breakers. Using the AC and DC load centers and circuit breakers, you are now able to plug in tools and other electronic devices into the AC and DC sockets at any time. Operation of the water purification system using the freshwater system as an example. All Mobile Max Pure units are shipped with filters in the unit and additional filters in the field support package, as well as a filter wrench and other tools for the operation of the unit. 
Before you begin to pump water, check filters for cleanliness and proper orientation. To open the filter housing, slide the filter wrench over the blue filter housing and move it up until the wrench teeth lock with the ribs on the housing. Turn counterclockwise to open the housing and reverse to close. When closing the filter housings, be sure O-rings are in place and only tighten the housing by hand. This procedure is also followed for regular filter changes. Each unit is shipped with a field support package that includes a pump, an external pre-filter, a roll of hose, and all necessary hose clamps and fittings required for operation of the unit. Place the Mobile Max Pure unit within 50 feet of the water source, and then cut the sections of hose to the lengths needed. Attach the supply hose using the included clamps to the pump, the external filter, the raw water input of the Mobile Max Pure unit, and then finally connect the clean water hose from the fresh water output of the Mobile Max Pure to the included pillow storage tank. Next, place the pump into the water source. If the water source has a high volume of debris, you may want to consider some type of settling basin before the water enters the unit. Reducing the overall volume of sediment entering the Mobile Max Pure unit will greatly extend the filter life between changes. Plug the pump into the 220 volt three phase outlet on the Mobile Max Pure to power it. Turn on the fresh water breaker first to power up the water purification unit, and then turn on the pump breaker to turn on the pump. The pump will slowly ramp up to speed over a 60 second period. You are now fully deployed and operational. If you are running a fresh water purification system, it is recommended that you allow the UV light to warm up for approximately 5 minutes to bring it up to optimal temperature for the purification of biological pathogens before drinking the water. The fresh water purification system should flow at 30 gallons per minute or less in order to allow the ultraviolet stage to work optimally. The flow rate is shown on the digital readout on the water purification system control panel and it can be adjusted by rotating the pump speed control dial on the main electrical control panel. The reverse osmosis systems flow at a rate of approximately 4 gallons per minute for brackish water and 3 gallons per minute for seawater sources. There are two parallel filtration paths built into the Mobile Max Pure fresh water system. A safety solenoid is designed into the system so that in the event of a UV bulb failure, the flow of water will immediately stop, ensuring that no contaminated water will flow into the purified water. If the blue indicator LED on the top of the UV unit is not lit, that is an indication that the UV bulb needs replacing. Filters must be regularly replaced in order to ensure optimal water output. We demonstrated how to change filters earlier in this video. World Water offers a six month supply of filters based on average use. Depending upon the sediment load of your water source, you may need to change filters more or less often than average. Please refer to your owner's operation manual for a list of indicators that will tell you that filters need to be changed. Xpure is a self-contained, easy-to-use technology that is self-powered and can provide power, water, and communication services with the addition of our optional satellite communications module. Thank you for your time.